The depth penetration and width of a weld nugget are indicators of weld strength. Even if a weld nugget has the required strength, there are surface conditions that may cause premature failure of the weld, excessive wear or damage to the hardware, equipment downtime, or an unacceptable surface appearance. Common surface conditions are surface expulsion, deformed metal, pitting, brassing, blowholes, cracking, skidding, and edge or radius welds. Now click on one of these surface conditions for a detailed explanation. Click on the exit button when you want to return to the knowledge system. Surface expulsion is when molten metal is blown out from under the weld tips. This occurs when too much heat is generated at the weld tip interface. The most likely causes are low weld tip force, high weld current, or excessively large weld tips. The metal stack up is pressed together by the weld tips. The part interface resistance and weld tip interface resistance decrease as the metal is pressed tighter together. If the weld tip force is too low, the metal will not be pressed tight enough together, and the weld tip interface resistance will be too high. As weld current flows through the larger resistance, too much heat will be generated at the surface. The weld tip interface will melt, and the molten metal is blown out from under the weld tips. Weld current is used to generate heat. When weld current flows through the metal stack up, heat is generated by the part interface resistance and the weld tip interface resistance. If the weld current is too high, too much heat will be generated at the weld tip interface. The weld tip interface will melt and the molten metal is blown out from under the weld tips. Weld tips that are too large contact more surface area. The additional surface area increases the weld tip interface resistance. As weld current flows to the larger resistance, too much heat will be generated at the surface. The weld tip interface will melt and the molten metal is blown out from under the weld tips. Deformed metal is when the metal around the weld nugget is bent or deformed. Deformed metal is most likely caused by incorrect weld gun position, angle or movement, incorrectly aligned weld tips, or incorrect part position. Weld tips must be properly positioned during welding. Weld tips must be aligned front to back and side to side. They must also be at a 90 degree angle to the metal. Properly aligned weld tips contact the metal along the same center line and apply equal force to the metal. If the weld tips are out of alignment, either front to back or side to side, they will not contact the metal along the same center line. And the metal around the weld will be bent or deformed. Pitting is when arcing current burns a black hole into the weld imprint. Pitting is most likely caused by short squeeze time, buildup of sealant on the weld tips, dirt or contamination on the metal, or short hold time. Squeeze time is used to make sure that the weld gun is fully closed and gives the weld gun time to reach full weld tip force. 
If the squeeze time is too short, the weld gun will not be fully closed as current blows. The current will arc and burn a black hole into the weld imprint. If the weld tips are covered with sealant or the metal surface is contaminated, the weld tips cannot contact the metal. When current flows, the current will arc and burn a black hole into the weld imprint. Hold time is how long the weld tips remain in contact with the metal after current stops flowing. If the hold time is too short, the weld tips will open and the remaining current in the system will arc and burn a black hole into the weld imprint. Brassing is when copper from the weld tips and zinc coating from the metal combine and brass is deposited on the weld imprint. This occurs when too much heat is generated at the weld tip interface. Brassing is most likely caused by low weld tip force, high weld current, insufficient weld tip cooling, or long weld time. The metal stack up is pressed together by the weld tips. The part interface resistance and weld tip interface resistance decrease as the metal is pressed tighter together. If the weld tip force is too low, the metal will not be pressed tight enough together and the weld tip interface resistance will be too high. As weld current flows through the larger resistance, too much heat will be generated at the surface. Copper from the weld tips and zinc coating from the metal combine and brass is deposited on the weld imprint. Weld current is used to generate heat. When weld current flows through the metal stack up, heat is generated by the part interface resistance and the weld tip interface resistance. If the weld current is too high, too much heat will be generated at the weld tip interface. Copper from the weld tips and zinc coating from the metal combine and brass is deposited on the weld imprint. Weld tips are cooled to draw heat away from the weld tip interface during welding. If the weld tips are not properly cooled, too much heat will be generated at the weld tip interface. Copper from the weld tips and zinc coating from the metal combine and brass is deposited on the weld imprint. Weld time is the number of cycles that weld current flows. If the weld time is too long, the weld current continues to heat up the metal and too much heat will be generated at the weld tip interface. Copper from the weld tips and zinc coating from the metal combine and brass is deposited on the weld imprint. A blowhole is created when molten metal is squeezed from between the weld tips. This occurs when too much heat is generated at the weld tip interface. A blowhole is most likely caused by low weld tip force, high weld current, insufficient weld tip cooling, long weld time, or long hold time. The metal stack up is pressed together by the weld tips. The part interface resistance and weld tip interface resistance decrease as the metal is pressed tighter together. If the weld tip force is too low, the metal will not be pressed tight enough together and the weld tip interface resistance will be too high. As weld current flows through the larger resistance, too much heat will be generated at the surface and the weld tips will sink deep into the metal. The molten metal is squeezed out and a hole is created in the weld nugget. Weld current is used to generate heat. 
when weld current flows through the metal stack up, heat is generated by the part interface resistance and the weld tip interface resistance. If the weld current is too high, too much heat will be generated at the weld tip interface and the weld tips will sink deep into the metal. The molten metal is squeezed out and a hole is created in the weld nugget. Weld tips are cooled to draw heat away from the weld tip interface during welding. If the weld tips are not properly cooled, too much heat will be generated at the weld tip interface and the weld tips will sink deep into the metal. The molten metal is squeezed out and a hole is created in the weld nugget. Weld time is the number of cycles that weld current flows. If the weld time is too long, the weld current continues to heat up the metal and too much heat will be generated at the weld tip interface. And the weld tips will sink deep into the metal. The molten metal is squeezed out and a hole is created in the weld nugget. Hold time is how long the weld tips remain in contact with the metal after current stops flowing. If the hold time is too long, the weld tips will sink deep into the metal. The molten metal is squeezed out and a hole is created in the weld nugget. Cracking occurs when there is an extreme heat change in the weld area. Cracking is most likely caused by high weld current or long hold time. Weld current is used to generate heat. When weld current flows through the metal stack up, heat is generated by the part interface resistance and the weld tip interface resistance. When the weld current is set correctly, the weld area will gradually heat up. If the weld current is too high, the weld area heats up too fast and the metal cracks. Hold time is how long the weld tips remain in contact with the metal after current stops flowing. If the hold time is set correctly, heat will be absorbed by the weld tips and the outer perimeter of the weld nugget will harden before the weld tips open. If the hold time is too long, the water-cooled weld tips will cool the weld nugget too fast and cracks may form. Skidding occurs when the weld tips slide on the surface of the metal. Skidding is most likely caused by excessive weld tip force or incorrect weld tip alignment. Weld tip force presses the metal together. If the weld tip force is too high, the rounded weld tips will skid as the metal begins to heat up. Weld tips must be properly positioned during welding. Weld tips must be aligned front to back and side to side. They must also be at a 90 degree angle to the metal. Properly aligned weld tips contact the metal along the same center line and apply equal force to the metal. If the weld tips are not at a 90 degree angle to the metal, the weld tip force is applied at an angle to the weld area. As weld current begins to flow, the surface begins to heat up and the weld tips slide. An edge or radius weld is when the weld nugget is located on the edge of the metal or on the rounded area of a radius. An edge or radius weld is most likely caused by incorrect weld gun position, incorrect part position, or incorrect weld gun adjustment. 